brauchen wir nie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good afternoon. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm here to provide an update regarding suspicious death that's occurred uh, yesterday at Unit 1266 Sturt Street at Adelaide. I can confirm that at about 6.28pm last night, that being Tuesday 26th of January, um, police were called uh, to attend at that address. A friend of the deceased had attended that address after trying to contact him and uh, when he had failed to raise him, he's attended there and he's found deceased. Police have then attended and unfortunately we've located a deceased male, 46 years of age, who I can confirm is Nathan Russell, who had died at the scene. Um, Nathan's death is to be declared a major crime and uh, will be investigated by Major Crime Investigation Branch with the assistance of Eastern Adelaide or Eastern Districts and Forensic Response Section. On the 26th of January, <coughs> members from Major Crime Forensic Response Section in the Eastern Districts attended at the scene and we've processed the scene and the surrounds. Uh, we have returned there today and we still currently have staff at that location. We're undertaking further forensic analysis and undertaking further inquiries in the vicinity. From the investigation to date, um, we believe that the assault on Nathan was actually a targeted attack. Investigators believe that people have knowledge of what has occurred to Nathan and or they have knowledge of the circumstances leading up to his death. We're seeking anyone with information regarding his death to come forward and to do the right thing by his family and assist the police investigation. I ask that anyone that saw anyone acting suspiciously between the evening of 25th of January and 6.28pm on the 26th of January to contact police and advise them what they've seen or what they're aware of. <clears throat> As I said, I encourage anybody with information regarding this death to contact police. I ask that they ring Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 and we'll have investigators available to speak to them tonight between 5pm and 9pm. I'll now take any questions. How did Nathan die? Um, at this stage, for operational reasons, we won't be commenting on how he has died. Was there a weapon involved? As stated, for operational reasons at this time, we won't be saying how he's died. You, just, you said it was an assault, you said it was an assault on Nathan. Would it be accurate to call it an assault? What happened? Correct. Um, yeah, Nathan was targeted at that address and he was subjected to a vicious attack, which has unfortunately caused his death. And when do you understand that attack happened? We understand that that has occurred uh, in the preceding 24 hours before he was located last night. Is there any indication of whether people forced entry into the building? Um, at the moment the investigation is in its infancy and um, we're conducting a number of inquiries and that will be one of them. It's unknown how many people were involved. Uh, presently the motive is unknown uh, for uh, the attack on Nathan. Um, what we do believe though is that there are people that may have been present in the vicinity that have knowledge of the attack and have knowledge of his murder and we ask those people to come forward and assist the police investigation. Do you have any suspects at this stage? Uh, at this time we have a no number of avenues of inquiry that we are undertaking, um, but we do not have any firm suspects at this time. Do you believe these people were there with an intent to kill him, or do you think they were present at the same time? I think um, they've attended to target him. Um, there's no doubt they intended to assault him. Whether they intended to kill him, I can't comment on that until the investigation is complete. Were drugs involved? Beg your pardon? Were drugs involved? Um, that will form one part of the investigation going forward. Um, and at this time, until that investigation is complete, I can't give you any further information on that. Is there any reason for any involved or involved um, At this time, we are looking at all avenues of inquiry. Um, as to whether it is gang related. At this time, we can't confirm that um, and we don't know. So um, there are aspects of the investigation. As I said, um, there's multiple avenues and we need to actually maintain an open mind and examine all those uh, suggestions. Do you believe you've been lying there like the disease for several hours or longer before you 
he had been present, we believe, in that unit for some time, and that's why we're asking for assistance from the evening of the 25th through to 6.28 last night. We have vision of a, uh, like a tyre lever being seized from um, the ground, um, and a, a resident's told us that it had been flown through his window on Sunday night. Is that fair to say? Um, I'm not aware of what that resident has suggested, but I can say that there have been a number of items uh, seized from his premises and in the vicinity, and we're actually ascertaining whether they have anything to do or have been involved in his murder. The friend you found him last night, did they have a house or was there an item for them to walk in? How did they get inside this? They know him. The door was... Uh, Shut, but not locked. And just what was the scene like for the detectives arriving last night? Um, as with all these scenes, um, it's extremely distressing on uh, first responders that go to the scenes, that be police and or uh, ambulance personnel. I'm sorry, could you just clarify, did you say there was any damage to the property? I might have already said it. Beg your pardon? You might have already said it, but is there any damage to the property any time before the entry? Uh, as stated before, we're actually trying to confirm what has actually occurred uh, on the evening and at this stage um, we can't ascertain uh, whether there has been forced entry. There may have actually been forced entry to his premises, but until we actually identify witnesses and finish our forensic examination, we'll be in a better position to comment. Did you use the word virtual? I would say that it was vicious and he was targeted uh, on arrival at the premises. I yeah. Yes, because he's obviously been assaulted within his premises. So are you saying that he came home and the people were there? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not suggesting that at all. Um, detectives will continue to undertake inquiries in the vicinity of that premises. Forensic response section will uh, be there for some time today, uh, finalising what they need to do at the scene as far as forensic examination. Do you believe that some of the neighbours living in that unit complex are falling back in the condition for you guys? I honestly don't know, um, but we are aware because of the nature and the circumstance of Nathan's death that there will be people that have knowledge of what has occurred to him and I urge anyone that has knowledge of either his relationships with other people or has knowledge of what's occurred last night to contact Crime Stoppers and speak to a detective tonight between 5pm and 9pm. I know we have the premises being searched, are there any scenes? Not at present, no. What about the victim's 